Hey guys, how's it going? Um, my name is Brian Betts. I am a jazz guitar player that resides in the uh, South Jersey area right near Philadelphia. And I started making these video tutorials to help um, guitar players uh, with certain factors of jazz guitar. And uh, if you like what you see, you know, why don't you check out my website if you get a chance. It's www.brianbettsjazz.com. So today, I want to talk about tone. I want to talk about tone, how to get a, um, a jazz guitar tone. There are many, many different types of jazz guitar tones. They're a very personal thing. Um, I am certainly giving you my influence um, of what I aspire to get with a jazz guitar tone. The people I listen to, the people that I'm constantly trying to emulate are George Benson, Pat Martino, um, Wes Montgomery. Those are the guys I love. There are many, many other players I love, but those are the guys I really always constantly um, gravitate towards. So you're gonna get my perspective based on those players. Um, first thing I wanna talk about is what you should be thinking about with your pickup selection and as far as your volume settings and your tone settings. A traditional jazz guitar sound. This is very subjective, um, but a traditional jazz guitar sound. A sound that I try to convey onto my students and that I would want to hear um, utilizes the front pickup on the, guitar, on the guitar. That would mean the pickup closest to the neck. Okay, that geographical area on the guitar is the fattest and warmest sound. I mean, for example, if I shut my volume off and I play acoustic right now, okay, if I play near the neck, it's gonna have a much warmer sound than if I play near the bridge. So you have to understand um, those things about the guitar first before we even continue. Secondly, I mean there are times you want a, a sound that are, that's more trebly. If it's a funk tune, if it's something that's going to cut a little bit more, pop a little bit more. But um, traditionally, for rhythm guitar, Freddie Green guitar, you're going to you're going to want to use your your front pickup, which is this one. As far as a switch, straight up. Okay, some jazz guitars only have one pickup, some have two. Um, that being said, you know, straight up is going to be this pickup. Let's talk about the tone knob, okay? Tone knob is the one on the bottom, okay? The way it works with this guitar is my volume knobs are on the top, okay? Volume knobs are on top, my tone are on the bottom. The biggest mistake I see guitar players do, and it's something I'm guilty of, when I was a young player, is people like to roll the tone back. And what do I mean? If my tone knob goes to a number 10, that's my highest setting, I see them rolling it back to like two or three, okay? This is not, the tone knob on a guitar is not a bass or treble control. That's the first thing you've gotta understand. It is a tone control. There's a difference between tone and bass and treble. This is not a bass and treble clone, uh, excuse me, knob, it's a tone control. Now, that being said, what I convey to my students is put the tone on 10, okay? If it's on 10, your pickup is wide open. You wanna get as much sound out of this instrument as you possibly can. Now, people will say to me, well, Brian, it's too hot it's too bright, then take it off the amp. Your amplifier has a treble control. It has a bass control, and in most cases, it will have a mid-range control. Some amps don't, most of them do. If it's too hot, if it's too trebly, always, I tell my students, take it off the amp. Because if you don't have the tone on 10 for this instrument, you are limiting the, the pickup from pulling some of the sound out of it. And in my opinion, you wanna get all the sound possible out of this, okay? 
So that's something to be said about tone. I'm gonna give you an example of that, okay? So my tone is on 10, okay? And I'm just gonna play a little bit for it. sound I would I would play with it. that's you know I would even go as far as say my sound now I'm going to roll the tone on my guitar all the way off which a lot of guys do okay I'm gonna roll it all the way off So I hear a huge difference when my tone is all the way rolled off and when it's on 10, okay? You want clarity. Something I tell my students too is you need to always think about what this instrument is gonna sound like 50 feet away, okay? With or without a sound man. You have to think about how clear is this going to sound, you know, if you're playing a concert venue and people are 20, even 50 feet away, okay? I always use this analogy. If you have the tone rolled all the way off, you're gonna get this kind of thing. It's, it's not gonna be clear. It's not gonna be clear, okay? It might sound hot right next to you, but out of ways, I promise you, it's not as hot, it's clear. And that's something that I personally always strive for and I always convey to my students. That's the first thing being said. So experiment with the tone being on 10, roll it off the amp, okay? Secondly, when would you use the other pickups? Well, they're there. I know it's, it's like, well, hey, you know, they built my guitar with these two pickups. Should I use them? Should, should, um, shouldn't I use them? Well, like I said, the front pickup, that's where I hang out. I would say 95 to 96% of the time I'm playing with that, that pickup. Both pickups at the same time middle position, okay? It's gonna have a poppy sound. It's a great sound, okay? Um, okay, so that's both pickups at the same time. I'm just gonna, for ha-has right now, go back to the front. It's a different sound. Um, I feel like the, the front pickup is more centered. When you get both of them going on, it pops. You get more of a pop. This is both, both pickups. Gets a little thinner on the top. Okay, the top two uh, high strings are gonna sound thinner. Um, for funk, it's great. Both pickups. Okay, um, the back pickup. Um, how often do I use the back pickup? Not too often at all. Um, I'm gonna put it, put it on so you can hear it, okay? It's real hot. And the reason why it's hot is because it's hanging out right next to the bridge. And when I did that little example early in the video, which I'll do again for you, just the placement geographically of the pickup, it's picking up where, um, what it sounds like there. So if I strum here, this is no amp now. Okay, but if I move back to the bridge, it's, it's naturally gonna get trebly. So you have to understand um, what the instrument's about and then you can make some decisions. Please, I'm not saying you never use this back pickup, okay? But for jazz, for traditional jazz, if you like to listen to the people I listen to, you're gonna use the front pickup. Um, you know, they do have a use, the other pickups, but for the straight ahead type of thing, it's, um, the fat sound is, is right here next to the neck. 
I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, the one thing I want to stress is keep the tone on 10, okay? Um, and take it off of the amplifier, okay? You want to have all the sound possible coming out of the guitar. And if it's too high, you could always roll it off the 10, off of the amp, I should say, I'm sorry. The last thing I'm gonna say is this. Um, when you are soloing, your volume knob should also be on 10, okay? Once again, the pickup's wide open, most sound possible coming through the, um, through the cord going to the amp. If it's too loud, you need to roll the headroom, the volume, off of the amp, okay? It takes practice. Um, I get a lot of people come up to me at gigs and are like, Brian, what are your settings? Like, can I write down your, because I play a Fender Twin amplifier, tube amplifier most of the time. And people come up to me, Brian, what are your settings? Like, I gotta know your settings. And I can't answer that question because every room is different, okay? Every room is different. I, I'm The first thing I'm doing on a gig is I am turning knobs trying to figure out what to get the sound that I want to get. What I can say is this, what I always do, and, and I've, I've repeated myself, but I can't say how important it is. My tone is always on 10. When I'm soloing, my volume knob is right on 10 or incredibly close to it. Um, and I'm always using this pickup next to the, the neck. Those are um, definite things I'm always doing when I'm, I'm playing a concert, uh, blowing a gig. As far as giving you specific settings, I, I can't do it. Because once again, every room is different. Well, I hope this video helps you guys out. And I wish you all the best.